Hey everybody, welcome back to the Zionic Earth Outpost. Uh, another builder interview underway right now. The uh, Joining us today is Ross. Ross, say hello. Hey guys, how you doing? Good, good. The uh, Yeah, so uh, today we're going to get into it with uh, Ross, and joining me this time is going to be uh, Ohio. The uh, Ross has some uh, some big exciting stuff to uh, to talk about, but before we get to that, let's uh, Let's get the uh, the basics out of the way. So, uh, how long have you been building, Ross? Uh, geez, a little over three years now. Uh, got into a kind of mistake and accidentally ordered a Gundam kit off Amazon, and that was pretty much the end of it. That's taken up most of my free time now. It's just such a great hobby. I mean, as you guys know, it's it's almost kind of a life changing hobby, you know. And I've done lots of other things, scuba diving, and traveled the world, and Gundam man, it's where it's at. Nice. The uh, so what uh outside of building what uh what's like your go to Gundam series? Eighth MS team. Nice. That's <laughs> a know? very respectable answer. Yeah, it's just uh, yeah, it's my favorite. You know, I I haven't seen all of them. I've seen a lot of them. Uh, build Fighters is up there and tried just because of the whole building and you know, yeah, it's a cool one. But yeah, Eighth MS team. Sweet. That's my go to. Nice, yeah, that's What a, was uh, the kit? What was the kit that you ordered by accident? Uh, it was a double X, an HG double X. Nice. Very so, yeah, anyway. screw, your, screw your 8th MS team. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Gundam double X, what? Well, you know, what's funny is I never actually, like, back in the day, I remember Robotech and stuff like that when I was a kid. I never watched Gundam back in the day. It didn't I mean I knew what they were just from the iconic, you know, RX seventy eight head that you just see everywhere. But like I had no idea that they even built models, what Gumpla was. Like that there were eight hundred million Gundam shows. I had no idea. I didn't realize. So uh Yeah, very cool man. Very cool. So uh let's uh let's get into uh, a little bit more of the uh the personal build stuff now. The uh you're actually sponsored by a company. You want to talk about that? Uh, yeah, Testers, uh, who's owned by Rustoleum now, um, saw some of my work and got a hold of me and another buddy of mine, uh, Alex, that's in the group, and wanted us to do some tutorial builds for them, stuff they can put on their website and in their catalog and a couple other builds. And so, you know, for that, they've basically been hooking us up with just about anything we want as far as model suits and eyes. That is uh, that is super awesome, and I think the, uh, I think you're actually the first person we've talked to who's been sponsored by uh, the outside. So that's it's really cool to see that the hobby is finally grabbing the attention of other companies in the states. Because I mean, if you look outside, especially in Asia, I mean, so many other companies support uh, third-party yeah. kits, paint specific things for Mecha and Gunpla, but. We're not really seeing that here in the States, so yeah. that's, that's really cool to see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, seeing them jump on board with it's really cool that they want to try and go that route because, you know, uh, Testers is pretty much known for, like, the old school model builder. Yeah. And so, you know, you got all these other companies, you know, that are out there for, like, the new stuff, and Mr. Color, you know, and Alclad and all these other ones. But, you know, hopefully Testers jumps on board and, you know, starts making some better colors and, making some new scribing tools so everybody's not paying eight hundred dollars for a set of pmc <laughs> chisels you know that, like that would be crazy. nice so uh big news let's talk about uh gbwc oh gosh it was <laughs> so cool never been to a convention before actually planned on entering last year uh and as everybody knows the world cup it's you know worldwide there's multiple stages to it uh you win you know, one of the smaller competitions, you kind of move on and on and on, and you know, eventually you get the the master out there, which must be cool to have. So, yeah, it was a great first run. Uh, took best large scale. Actually, I don't have the kit here. It's actually uh, in Schaumburg, but I did. I don't know if you can see. I did get this nifty little best large scale World Cup emblem thing. So that was really cool. It was a lot of fun. So definitely plan on doing it next year. Cool seeing some really cool builds. So many talented modelers out there, you know. Uh, that was probably the best part of it, just seeing everybody's work. What uh, what convention did you go to? Where'd they host it for your region? 
It was uh, ASIN, which is uh, Anime Midwest. Oh, Anime Central. And it's in Rosemont, which is uh, just a little bit outside Chicago by O'Hare Airport. And it was just great. Uh, at my first convention, it was cool seeing, you know, Bandai represent, you know, all these other vendors that they had there, you know, uh, exclusive Gundam kits you can't, like, buy online and stuff. So that was, uh, you know, a really cool part. And just seeing all these other people that are into the hobby, you know. It's mm, not just this niche awesome. thing anymore. It's totally getting bigger. Yeah, no, it, it definitely is, and it's it's really cool to see how it, it's growing and evolving. So as it uh, as it continues to grow and evolve, before we uh, we throw it over to Ohio for some questions, what is something you're hoping to see Bandai do more of in the future with kits they're releasing? Or yeah, I'd like to see them actually for myself. I'd like to see them put out some more master grades. You know, the high-grade lines are really cool. That's what got me into it. I'm kind of more of a master-grade snob now. I do still have yeah, some I mean, I, can, I can see them behind you. It's a, a but, very nice know, stack. Yeah, and they, they just, there's so many more for HG, though, that would make great MG kits, you know, and you can only get them in HG. So I wish they'd do the same thing with the HG kits, you know, make one for everything. Yeah, that would be super sweet to see. So, uh... Oh hi! Let's uh, let's throw it over to you, man. What uh, what do you got? Ooh. Well, first I want to compliment on that testament back there. I want to I want a review of that when you build that because uh, I want that kit. It's um, funny actually. Three guys in the group. I mean, three guys in the group had all got those, and uh, we actually are going to have us a little triad competition to see uh, who could oh. throw out the best testament from those third party kits. That's interesting. Uh, I definitely want to see how that turns out. Yeah, yeah, but, um, pretty good. You know, I want to I want to give you credit on this. Uh, you you are the I can't remember. Are you the president or are you the founder of the Gunpla Builders of Chicago? I am now the president. Uh, wasn't the, the founder? President. Yeah, no, I got into it when there was about thirty five guys, and I was actually still living in Hawaii at the time, but I knew we were moving to Chicago, so. I saw the you know saw this small group on Facebook and joined it. Uh, then when I finally did get out here to Chicago, I kind of started just doing a lot with the group. Uh, I just kind of set up some build days and stuff like that, and just started to like doing a lot more moderating and that type of thing on the the page. Uh, and the couple guys that did found it, Conrad and Kai, have actually they're still members, but they moved on and you know are doing big things in life, college and you know family and stuff like that. So. They kind of passed the reins over to me, and I just have, uh, took off and started running with it. Now, I will say also, um, what is this is an impressive number. What is your current member roster, your your number? I believe we're like 568, I think. I was actually just looking at it the other day, and it's something right around there. It was like, yeah, and we started out with like 30 guys. Wow. I mean, when they first started out, there was really like five or six, but, you know, it kind of grew from there, and we just have exploded. Uh, a lot of it is that we do build days now. A lot of the local, like, uh, Hobbytown USAs and stuff. Uh, give a shout-out to Hobbytown USA and Sean Berg, Glenn, buddy, thanks a lot. A lot of this is to you. You helped us out get this big. You know, he'll mention us to every person that comes in and buys a kit. Uh, we have some business cards there, so... And we've just exploded. It's crazy. I mean, from 35 to 568, it's wild. Now, that's not saying all 500 show up to every build day, though. I mean, I've seen sure. I've seen your build day picks yep. on like how many people you have in attendance, and it looks like a Friday night at a Magic tournament. Like, there's like easily 20 to 30 people there, if not more, constantly, and it's amazing. And I want to also want to give you credit because when I started getting into you know Gunpla and getting wanting to do more with Gunpla than just be you know in my house or just on Instagram or anything, I looked for local groups to meet uh, people. And the cl I'm in Cincinnati. You're in Chicago. You were the closest build group that I had, and I, I didn't make it. And I did I did join, and you gave me a lot of inspiration to actually like found and build like my local so i'm like what what advice like what kind of like can you say to someone who doesn't have a local or anything close by they can drive to but like th there's always a there's always some other people out there that are interested in building for sure 
for sure. Yeah, I'm really God. That's kind of shocking. Cincinnati and there, there are no groups. No, but I have a pretty good group though. I mean, it, right? It, it just took one person, one person yeah, to like right. make it all just happen. to kind of light the fire. Yeah, yeah. And everybody kind of jumps on. Yeah, uh, that's exactly it. You know, there are all kinds of people out there that are into it. Uh, if you just look around, there are no people that you know. You know, start a Facebook page. You know, start jumping on other pages. You know, uh, some of the Gundam pages on Facebook, uh, like Gundam Builders of America. And, you know, I can't think of all of them right now. There's a bunch on there though. You know, and so it's an easy way to you know look and find out where everybody's from. Uh, starting your own page you have like the gun club builders of cincinnati is it or did you guys go with something else or uh cincinnati gun club builders yeah see so i mean and yeah, I'm, it's just going to explode you know like you're going to be shocked at how many people start jumping on board i think i mean granted chicago is a pretty big area so you know uh, yeah you got you got look you got a legit logo and banner and like all we, flash we tried we tried uh you even what had you even had group awards given out. I saw group awards given out just for group, just for like, oh, here you go. Yeah, that was kind of cool too. It's just kind of keep everybody into it, you know, a little fire. We do competitions all the time, you know, in group. We usually have one going, uh, kind of, you know, every three months, four three months, you know, something like that. A little break in between, but just to keep the the juices flowing and everybody into it. Uh, we're hoping to have a, a table at next year's ASIN, like, you know, an actual, like, legit table, you know, maybe sell some T-shirts and stuff. But, you know, it's more just to get people, you know, into it. Uh, just business cards some of the guys did, you know. We must have, you know, gathered another 100 people easy. And that's, you know, there are people out there. So if you really, you know, just want to look around – Check Facebook. Check other you know social media sites. They're they're out there. Just got to dig. <laughs> and I will say this: I, at my last Gumpla uh, build day, uh, the, there's talks that we would the Cincinnati Gumpla builders might be interested in challenging you, Chicago boys, as a, as a to a build off. Oh shit! No. <laughs> yeah. Yes. No, that a, few would be us, great. A, a few of us want to come out and actually to one of your build days. I actually have talked about make, taking a road trip out there because yeah. you know I tell them that like. You know, you guys were that you you helped me and you know, on the like, point me, you pointed me in the right direction to like start everything and like I, I'm thankful for that. You cool, know, man. appreciate it, appreciate it. That's awesome. Yeah, I think something like that would be great. Uh, a little contest. We've got some pretty talented builders. You know, I definitely know a couple guys who would definitely be into doing something like that. Although we're not going to combine four Verka Master Grades to make a kit because <laughs> uh, honestly. I, I, whoa, that's a price tag I don't want to pay. <laughs> right, go figure, go home. I know. It, it was so hard, man. Like, I busted into that gear and doga box just to take, like, two shoulder pieces. Yeah, that was rough. That was kind of rough. <laughs> so, it was like Shijabi, it was like Sananju Shabi Stein. It was like the craziest combo of, like, parts. I was like, wow, that's a. Uh, when you first showed me that, I, I was, I was impressive. It was monstrous when it was done, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I yeah, put no, it up next to, yeah. I put it up next to an MG camper, and it was like twice the size. And I was like, oh my god, like I need to check like the the size requirements to make sure I'm not going over here, you know. But they're they're pretty good. You're allowed to have some pretty big stuff. So, and a lot of those guys are throwing out some pretty insane stuff. Well, on that note, what what would you say advice for someone who is actually wanting to enter like any of the GWCs or anything like that, wanted to go to, or even just a local competition that like their locals having even like what what advice could you give someone who wants to do that? Just to do it, like honestly, it, it really doesn't. It's all it comes down to the judge, really. So I mean, you can have you know a world class builder you know, lose to somebody not quite that good because the judge judges are looking for certain things. It's not all just, you know, did you get all the nubs off? Did you see them all the, you know, get all the lines filled and stuff? It's beauty's in the eye of the beholder. So if you, if you think you can do it, I say just go with it. Try and be off the wall, think out of the box, change some colors around, do something somebody else isn't going to do. Uh, 
that's really the main joy of the hobby. I mean, you can buy these kits that look great by themselves, but, you know, you can do anything you want to them. I mean, people are using not just modeling parts, but, like, trash and, you know, old Bic lighters, and it's it's just crazy what people come up with. So, uh, yeah, I just say jump into it, you know, use what you got. No, that's 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 a very good point. The uh, that's who the, the hell was using trash? I, I, <laughs> I just want to know that. I'll actually, Who's show you using this trash? Picture. I'll actually show you this picture. Uh, I'll oh send God, it to you did? or whatever. Oh. It's a, a Zaku, and he's on like this hover bike, and the thing is literally made out of like you can see some big lighters in there, and there's like spent shell casings, and it's just all this stuff that you would just find in the trash. Okay, that sounds kind of that. That kind of sounds cool, actually. Oh, it looks so awesome, dude! It's like it's, it's legit. No, I thought you were saying out. like an, a banana peel. Like <laughs> it was it was like being powered by the stuff that powered the DeLorean. Like that's what I was <laughs> thinking in my right. head. I'm like, well, who the hell did that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Was that crazy. like was that hobo hobbyist or something? <laughs> I'm surprised somebody hasn't taken that title yet, you know, made their own channel with that. <laughs> ah, you yeah. never know. You never know. You yeah, might what happened. See, yeah, somebody's money train right there. <laughs> the uh, So with having such, like, a, a big local scene and the uh, being in more so, like, a metro area, what's the... Uh, for people who might not have a local hobby shop who do their buy online, what's the local scene like for picking up kits? Can you walk into a store and see perfect grades, high grades, master grades? Like, what's the uh, what's the product mix like at your locals? Around here, pretty good. I mean, it, it honestly didn't start that way, but I think you know, as the group and how it's getting popular, uh, like Glen and Hobby Town, man, thanks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's you know, when I went in there, he had uh, one basic wall maybe you know four by six feet with maybe 20 or 30 kits on it now he has one almost the whole wall of his store with you know four three or four hundred kits perfect grades wow see he's got it all you know and plus a lot of these guys will order it for you you know these hobby shops if if, if they don't have it they can get it so if you know what you're looking for any of them will order it for you you know yeah that's very true we're we're does. pretty good. We got we're pretty lucky. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people out in different places probably you're you're not gonna find much at Hobby Lobby or, you know, I mean, Hobby Town USA usually will have a couple, even if they're smaller stores. But yeah, we got pretty lucky around here. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty impressive, man. That's that's not bad at all. I mean, that's uh. It almost sounds like I'm a I'm based in New Jersey and uh, Gundam Planet from where I am is maybe uh, it's maybe like an hour and forty two hours depending on traffic. Yeah. But I mean that sound now I mean their selection obviously it's it's a I warehouse of Gunpla but I mean that right. many kit selections I mean dude that's uh that's really impressive. Yeah, it's good. I mean you can actually go in there and actually spend some time looking, you know. Which is cool, because, I mean, you guys know you all have monstrous backlogs, too, but, yeah, we still go into those <laughs> stores and scan those shelves, you know, look for that one you've been waiting for or whatever. It's crazy. You know, I have enough models that I'll never be able to build them all in my lifetime. You know, no, I can I will. stop buying I will. them now, <laughs> and I would be good until I'm, you know, 182 years old. But yeah, it takes me forever to build them, too. You know, I only get a couple hours a night. I know you guys are probably, you know, judging, fam you know, family and jobs. And as much as it would be nice to just chill down here, you know, for 22 hours a day and sleep for two, <laughs> I only get a couple hours a night. I will say my, my lovely wife does at least let me have a, f a few Saturdays to where, like, I can straight be a nerd and be in my man cave and just have Gundams all around me, all the Gundams. Yeah. So I'm yeah. lucky on that, but... Every once in a while, I, I do get that, yeah. And my wife lets me have my build day a month, you know, to where I'm like, I, I at least need one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's, uh, that's really awesome, man. Especially, too, the... Uh... It's cool when you can uh, when you can involve like the uh, the family unit and your hobby and what you do and that, that's something that I really enjoy about um, Gunpla and the hobby. I know you touched on Build Fighters being a series that you like. The uh, 
I saw before we were talking, before we started recording, uh, you have a little one. I have one who I think is probably a few years older than yours. She's uh, she's five, going to be six this year. And the uh, I'll be honest with you, man. I never thought I'd be able to uh, bring her to the dark side, if you will. Yeah. But, uh, it's great now because the uh, if she's up at night and she doesn't want to sleep, I'm like, hey, you want to watch Build Fighters? And we'll watch like an episode or two of Build Fighters before we get – and I'll bring her yeah. to the uh, like my local with me. And I'll be like, hey, what do you want to build? And she's done a couple bear guys now. She's done a few of the S. I actually just picked up. Uh, we're gonna do like a. Fi- I got a four day weekend, and we're gonna do like a uh, a family build day this weekend. My wife, I got her the uh, the RX uh, starter. I think it's volume two that comes with like the panel line. So right, that's, right. A, that's a solid kit. Yeah, I'm gonna gonna help her knock that out. And the. Um, I just got the Barbados. I think it's the first form. It's not the lupus. I think it's the first form uh, SD for uh, for my daughter. So we're we're gonna see how that goes. Uh, <laughs> That's cool, man. That's really cool. I mean, to have like something like that. I'm, I'm hoping my daughter's only three now, but I'm hoping to be able to do some stuff like that. Uh, as far as my wife goes, I did buy her a bear guy, and she built the head. I'll, I'll give her that. <laughs> Before she finally looked at me and said, "You know, I don't think this is for me." But you know, she tried. She tried. She tried. Yeah, the uh, like I said, once uh, you'll be able to, man. It it really was funny because the uh, when I first started building, she'd be like, "What? What are those? Like, are we gonna play with them?" And I was like, "No, they are for looking only. They will <laughs> they will sit on a shelf. They will look pretty." Because that's I've now slowly learned. Most of mine are still complete. There's a uh, there's only a couple, I think, that have taken the plunge out of the hands where I haven't been able to find... Well, it doesn't help my floor Keep piece black. of advice, man. Keep, keep some of the bad ones on the bottom. Yeah. Like, I, I have some <laughs> I have some bad ones down on the bottom shelf, so when she gets in here, she she will grab the, you know, SD Zaku and not the, the MG Zaku, you know? That's a, uh, that's a very <laughs> solid point. I'm going to have I, to uh, uh, rearrange I gave my... the shelf. I gave my boy the uh, the Build Fighters Rambaral R35 Dom. Nice. And uh, I I tried to able proof it. I like <laughs> glued I I glued it together. I mean I top coated it, put his name on it. The only thing that survived was an arm and a leg. And he keeps <laughs> rearranging the pieces in different formations and says he's building a new robot. Ah, there you go. That's awesome. I'm like, well, creativity. yeah. He's like, it does this. I'm like, it it does do that. You are correct. <laughs> I cannot, can't take that from you. That's awesome. <laughs> the uh, so Ross, what is your? Uh, I know you touched on like certain aspects and stuff that you like, but what uh, what is your absolute favorite thing about the hobby? Wow, that's a it's a it's a big know, one. That's a hard uh, one. That's a really hard one. I guess just the, you know, the old moniker Gumpla is freedom. For me, that's it. The fact that you can do anything, you know, like whatever colors you want. I, I've tried some pretty off-the-wall colors. You know, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But it's achieving a hobby that, you know, you can do stuff like that and really mess around with it. And that's, to me, that's what the whole hobby is about. You know, you can have the same kit as somebody, but you're never going to have the same kit as somebody. You know what I mean? Like, out of a thousand Barbados builds out there, you know, for the most of the part, they're going to be a little different for anybody that's, like, doing any type of painting or something. No, that's that's, that's probably, point. you know, the, the modification aspect to it. The, you know, you can cut pieces out and add pieces here and, you know, use some putty or scribe some panel lines or, you know throw some LEDs in there. It's just endless for what you can do. There's so many tools out there. If you don't have the tools, you can make the tools. I mean, it, yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's pretty awesome, man. The uh, Now, with running your uh, your own local, too, what, um, especially now since the hobby's starting to grow, the... Um, you're getting people from like different aspects of life, obviously different um, maturity ranges, age ranges, and stuff like that. What advice do you have for people, or I guess how do you, since you're the president of your group, 
how do you deal with, uh, especially since you guys are on Facebook and stuff too, how do you deal with uh, like trolls or like negativity within the community? Because that's something we've talked about it before on some of our episodes. It's something you really don't like to see in a community or hobby. But like I said, with people coming from all different aspects and backgrounds, you're bound to have it eventually. So what advice do you have to people or for people to avoid it or squash it all together? Yeah, uh, just stomp on it instantly. You know, there's no room for that kind of stuff in this hobby. And if you're one of those elitist guys, just don't join a group then, you know. <laughs> like, yeah, we, we've, we've had stuff like that. I try to stop it as soon as possible. You know, give people the benefit of the doubt and say, you know, like, hey, we're not going to be doing this. If somebody's not asking for, you know, negative comments on their thing, don't give any. If somebody posts something, you know, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it. You know, it's that easy. Not everybody out there is going to be a master airbrush painter, you know, and you're going to see some, you know, kits painted with craft paints that, you know, don't look what you would like them to look like, but, you know, they're not yours, so you don't worry about it, you know? I mean, I, I hope people would just think of, like, the golden rule aspect. You know, if you don't want it done to you, like, don't do it to somebody else. So, yeah, Dumbledore to Chicago, we, we don't really have any guys like that. I stomp them out pretty quick when that <laughs> nice. happens. <laughs> Very cool, man. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, for the most fit. part, it, you know, for the amount of people we've had, it's been a few cases here and there. So, you know, there is some around, but it, it's not that bad. That's awesome. Now, that, that's really cool to hear that the uh, you guys have a, a very positive culture out your way. Because, like I said, as as the hobby grows, I mean, that's, like I said, we've talked about it before on the channel. That's, um, that's something that's cool to see because this still is a pretty, yeah. like... It is growing. I mean, it's not where it was when you could get wing kits at like Walmart or Toys R Us, but it's uh, I mean, it's it's growing now more than ever. I mean, we're getting uh, not kit releases, but we're getting series releases pretty much the same day as they happen in Japan. You can right. go right to Gundam Info and watch it here, yeah. uh, which is pretty cool. And even um, you a lot of English manuals. Yeah, English in the manuals has been really cool to see. The, yeah. Uh, yeah. Even uh, Cartoon Network doing the run of IBO, and even uh, recently... Right. Who's they that? did Unicorn also. Yeah, yeah. I think right. Unicorn's still on, or it might yeah, be over might. now. Oh, I'm sure they're pushing the crap out of Unicorn. Yeah. They're going to they're gonna play that till that horse is dead. No, they're still, oh, yeah. they're still beating it continually, but... Uh, yeah. And I think, it's, I think it's Hulu now in the States. I think there's like six or seven series up on hulu um yep unicorn oh no wait no double o eighth ms team yeah. wing or no not origin your favorite uh, i know on there i think seed remaster <laughs> but it's only sub it's not dubbed it makes me sad but it's so pretty it's so pretty and so is double <laughs> o it is so pretty oh and rika uh, uh rika g reco yeah yeah which Horrible. Is my, is my jam? <laughs> Fuck y'all. That's my jam. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'll have to get around to, to maybe watching that one day. We'll uh, we shall see. Time will tell. It's like gonna be my rose, yeah. but I'm, I'm gonna die and like drop something and go, G Reco. <laughs> <laughs> oh the uh. So I guess before uh, before we start wrapping this up, Ohio, you got a uh, you got anything else, man? Actually, man, no. To be honest, I really don't. I just want to really just get said, give him some credit, uh, Ross, some credit again for you know giving me the advice and pointing me in the right direction to make uh, my own local, which is actually a really grown and re really awesome local. And uh, yeah, I mean, Ross, do you have any closing your closing statements? Not really, man. I appreciate that. It's a labor of love, you know. Like I'm gonna do it regardless. So, you know, just having the crew of people that we have in the group just makes it that much better. You know, the best hobby out there. <laughs> you know, like you can't beat it. So, you know, that's it, man. You know. Yeah, and the uh, seriously, man. Once again, uh, congratulations on the sponsorship. That is, that's really awesome really cool. awesome and the Thank uh you. yeah congrats on the uh the gbwc man that is a uh, 
that's really cool as well. I mean, that's uh, that's something to be very proud of. Sport in the uh, the man cave. I was, uh, you know, I was just hoping, you know, that uh, you know, somebody from the group won it, and it just so happened that uh, we swept the whole event. You know, and <laughs> took, uh, <laughs> we took all the. Then prizes. there's that. There's, there's, so, there's, there's kind of that. You know, yeah, you, you can't get much better than that. You no, know, a clean sweep is always a. Uh, I mean, it speaks volumes to the to the group and what you guys have going and what you put together. That's uh, that's super cool, yeah. man. Just want to, hey, Alex, good luck, man. Good luck in the next bout. Hope you get some of these guys and take North America. Nice, nice. The uh, all right. Well, then, uh, I think that's uh, I think that's gonna wrap it up for us. Uh, Ohio, thanks for hopping on, man, setting this up. Ross, thank you, uh, thank you for joining us, doing the interview and the. Uh, for everybody who's watched, thank you for uh, for spending some more time with us. And we're going to link everything to um, Ross's social media accounts, uh, Instagram, the, uh, the pages, the groups he's part of. So if you're somebody who's seeing this, you want to get involved in his local, you'll know where to go to. You'll also be able to see pictures of the builds he's done, all that cool stuff. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll catch everybody next time. Thanks, uh, thanks for joining us, guys. That's a cute face, Ohio. I like that. <laughs> <laughs>